Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we have a massive Samsung One UI 2.5 update. This is the official update. So One UI 2.5 is in fact here. Let's dive in and see what is new. Now, let me quickly go into my settings, all right? And then I'm gonna go into my software update. I'm gonna tap on last update that was done today. And the size of the One UI 2.5 update is almost one gigabytes. Now, after you update, all you wanna do is go into your about phone, go into software information, and here we have One UI 2.5 and Android 10, which is fantastic. Now let's dive in and see all the brand new features that we have gotten. Now, if you're wondering if your phone is eligible for the One UI 2.5 update, I have dropped a link down below. Just click the link. It's going to take you to my website on which we have an official list of all the Samsung devices that are gonna get this update. We don't know the exact time, but they're all gonna get One UI 2.5. Anyway, let's move on. Now, one of the biggest features and the biggest question I've been getting is, am I gonna get wireless DeX functionality on my non-Samsung Galaxy Note 20 or Note 20 Ultra? And the answer to that question is in fact, yes. In fact, if I swipe over, wireless DeX feature is now right over here. Now, if I click on it, goes into the menu and it starts to look for the actual TVs to connect wireless decks. Now, as of now, this feature seems to appear only on the S20 devices, but soon it might trickle down perhaps to Note 10 and the S10 devices as well. So now we do have the wireless DeX functionality. The next thing is the camera gets some major new features. So let me launch my camera, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my pro video mode. Now, as you can see, there's a little dot there. That means we have some new features. So once I go to my pro video mode, you'll see a new interface. Now, one of the good things is over here, you can actually see your microphone meter as you're talking into it. So it actually is showing you the left and the right microphone and how they're picking up the sound. Now over here, it actually gives you a breakdown of what resolution you're in and what are the frames per second. So this one here is 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now, if I did go into my settings, all right, and if I went to my rear video, and if I went to my pro video size, you are gonna see a whole bunch of new options. First and foremost, 24 frames per second, 8K recording is now available, okay? Now, real quick, if I go back out, you'll notice that it's gonna say 8K, 24 frames per second on the side. So that customizes itself based on the information you have. Now let's go back to the settings. Now, if I go into the pro video size again, you have some new aspect ratios that you can uh, record your videos in. Now these features are coming straight from the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So that's fantastic. Now, one more thing, we do have a histogram right over here. So the histogram is gonna be very useful uh, for professional videographers that know how to use it. So that's the histogram functionality. And over here, we have the omnidirectional microphone option. You can pick any microphone that you want on your phone. Your, your phone has a front and rear microphone. I can use the front microphone only, the rear microphone, or the omnidirectional microphone. And of course, I've got the USB and the Bluetooth microphone option. So if I connect a Bluetooth device, I can use the microphone on that device to record in the pro video mode. So that's the features you get on the camera, huge enhancements to the pro video mode. Now we also get a humongous update to Samsung Notes. Now this is part of One UI 2.1 and also was part of an independent update. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making a video going to the details regarding that very soon, so stay tuned. But just to give an example, if I were to create a brand new note, okay, and if I, go, if I were to go to my settings, I can now pick from various different background colors, as you can see, and I can also pick various different, let me just grab that background color, I can also now pick uh, various different page templates, as you can see. And there's so many more options in the notes department you can now have folders instead of categories, and you can have 
folders within actual folders. So you can organize your stuff uh, with precision. Again, stay tuned for my detailed video covering all the features. Now, one more thing we have is we have some updates on the edge panel. So when I pull this down, uh, you're gonna see that the apps edge panel now is gonna look a little bit different. Let me go here. Let me enable apps edge panel. It's actually enabled. Let me disable everything else. Okay, so I can show you guys what's happening. So let's go out and here's the apps edge panel. Now what we can do is when I go to edit, I can add so many more options. So look at that. So I can add up to 22 apps onto my edge panel, all right? And on the top, uh, we have recently used applications right over there. So that's just fantastic. Now I did forget to mention that the Samsung wireless DeX feature uh, also has with the One UI 2.5 update, it does support multi-finger gestures. So you can use your Samsung Galaxy S20 as a trackpad and of course you can use multi-finger gestures such as pinching out to zoom in and stuff like that or using uh, two fingers to swipe back and forth. We do have a new Wi-Fi feature as well so if you go to your Wi-Fi okay what you can do is let's say that you see a Wi-Fi in your friend's house when you tap on the Wi-Fi what it's going to allow you to do is it's going to have a little option here that's going to say request password. So you tap that and then you can request password from your friend directly and he can just with a tap of a button send it to you. So you don't even have to know the password, you just request it, your friend approves it and boom you're connected. And of course we do have uh, so many more features, I'm going to dig in, find out every single thing and make a detailed review video on the One UI 2.5. And like I said if you want to know whether or not your phone supports One UI 2.5 Click the link down below. There's an official list of all the Samsung devices that are going to get One UI 2.5. So click the link. It's going to take you to my website and just look at the list of phones, the official list that I posted a couple days ago to see if you are eligible. All right, so thank you for watching this video. Again, we've got the wireless decks. We've got pro video features. We have a brand new and enhanced Samsung Notes application and many other little updates here and there. I will give you a full detailed video very soon. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.